Gold Rush Production. Hey man, we over here at 99 Jams right now. This your boy Gold Rush, aka Raiden Rush. We dropping that source sauce on the name. First one of the cosign, y'all know what it is. Tsunami. Y'all go get that record, man. I started off early playing drums, you know what I mean? My dad's a drummer, my, uh, my mother's a pianist, and basically I started doing music early on drums and piano. And, you know, I started getting into beats a little later on, maybe in my teens, and then I ended up meeting Trick Daddy. I actually met Pops first, Trick Daddy's dad. Met Trick Daddy when I was about 16, and then when I was 17, that's when Bet That came out, you know what I mean? I helped co-write that, I actually featured on the third verse and uh, was able to produce a lot of songs for Trick, like uh, Born a Thug, 1020 Life. I actually featured on 1020 Life, um, Straight Up. I helped write the hook on there, produce that, and I also produced F the Other Side on DJ Khaled's freshman album, We Global, you know what I mean? Uh, along with Ply's first album, I produced on that. I also produced on Ace Hood's first album. You know, a lot of South Florida artists, you feel me? I mean, I ain't gonna lie, man. I, I, my first rap album was Wu-Tang Forever. You know, once I got that ghetto D and I got onto No Limit, I was like, yo, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. So once I got that album, I, I made up in my mind, yo, I want to be a producer, I want to be an artist. This is what I want to do. Basically, after Bet Dad and the whole Trick Daddy situation, we actually got with Cash Money Records, you know what I mean? That, that's who actually marketed and shot the video for uh, F The Other Side, you know what I mean? But after that, I started my own label, Two Hot Records, and also DB, you know what I mean, uh, Dying Breed. So I was doing that for a while, but right now I'm just focusing on Gold Rush, Raiden Rush, you know what I mean? Me as a solo artist, producer, and I'm still producing for other artists too, but you know, and I, I just been focusing on myself, man, you know what I mean? As far as how I came up with Tsunami, I actually, I got a homie named Jay Stacks, you know what I mean? He's my partner. He also handles a lot of my marketing. He actually has a relationship with Twister. And he was like, yo, why don't you, you know, send some beats to Twister, see what happens, send him some tracks. So I was like, all right. That was the track I put together. I literally made the track from scratch. I put the Tsunami hook on there. We sent it to him. Twister loved it so much. He was like, yo, Stax, this need to be Gold Rush record to Gold Rush to put these verses on the ASAP. And once it pick up, I'ma hop on it. We actually just got off the phone with Twister and he just gave us uh, his blessing. The, uh, the way I came up with you know, my style, my image right now, I just been, I took some time like the past two years to just kind of study the, the rap game right now, just the music industry period. And I noticed there's a lot of people with huge personalities and images, uh, you know what I'm saying, images. They got colorful hair and tattoos everywhere. It's, just, it's hard to stand out nowadays, you feel me? So I'm like, why not embrace my Asian culture? You know, that's why I started wearing the rice hat. This hat is actually, you know, uh, a lot of poor Asian people in Japan and other Asian countries, they wear this and they farm in, in the rice farms and they actually, you know, they're gathering the rice and stuff. So this hat right here, it represents the struggle, it represents my culture, where I came from, but it also allows me to put myself in the front of the line with all these other million rappers. You know? Thank you, Big Mac. <laughs> DJ Nasty. World Famous Top 8 at 8, and we got our 99 Cosign winner from March. Go Rush. With that soy sauce. Soy sauce. What the heck? Once I put this hat on, I could be standing in the crowd of 5,000 people, and you're going to be able to point me out like, where's Waldo? You feel me? So. And to, to be honest, it all started off with me trying to come up with my own style and my own ad-libs. And I had this, I just like, yo, I'm gonna start saying soy sauce as my ad-lib. Soy sauce, you know what I mean? And it just turned into doing skits. I wouldn't even plan on none of this stuff, but it just, it works. It's me and it's working. I got a couple of aliases. And most recently, I've been going as Raiden Rush. Obviously, you know, Y'all might know who Raiden is from Mortal Kombat. That was one of my favorite games, one of my favorite uh, characters. And I was just like, man, I, I gotta do this. It just, it makes sense, you feel me? That's what you call, soy sauce.